After recording probably nearly a thousand videos, I've been asked, do I use a teleprompter and have I ever? And the answer is no. You're kidding. You might think that I am kidding and I understand that. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the things that I've used, learned, and taught myself when recording videos so that I can get them pretty accurate and correct and how you can even say phrases verbatim without anybody knowing any differently that you didn't use a teleprompter. Now, a teleprompter isn't bad. It's just the idea that you'd have to be looking at something and reading it going line by line, getting familiar with that and knowing properly how to use one in your videos so that you still have your personality. You don't sound dry and boring and you don't look like you're reading so tip number one is going to be write an outline. If you don't have an outline for what your video is going to do, then you don't really have an effective plan of how you're going to run through your video. It's not just for you to think about how you want to go through the video, but really have a competent flow for how you should begin that video, what should be the meat and the core section in the middle of the video, and how do you want to end and where you want to lead people to when it comes to the next video, especially when it comes to YouTube. What's that call to action that you should be asking people? So if you're not familiar with writing outlines, this is not to the point that you need to write out a script because that's not something I personally subscribe to. For some people, that is a good idea for them. For me, just in how I learn and how I wanted to learn to present better, uh, doing a script would help me any good because I just would have to feel like I want to read it all the time and I just didn't want to do that. Tip number two is going to be use bullet points. This is something that I learned from Ray Edwards and this is something that's very important when it comes to copywriting. And if you've not heard me preach the gospel of this book, you're going to hear it a lot. And that is how to write copy that sells by Ray Edwards. Now in this book, he talks about using bullet points in your copywriting. And for me, when I'm doing my outlines and I'm breaking down what I want to discuss or cover in the video, even if that's a tutorial, I'm still going to use bullet points because that's going to help me to guide myself along the path of what I want to talk about, what I want to cover, what needs to be in the video and what needs to be taken out of the video. But even if I think something needs to go in the video at recording when I'm doing the outline, but then later I find out that in recording, I want to take it out because I'm recording thing in segments and I'm recording it and bullet points, then that helps me to cut that out completely without feeling like I'm just cutting myself off without fully finishing a statement. So it gives me editing options when I'm going into editing. So the main thing that you want to know when it comes to using your bullet points is that it should keep you on the main topic. It should only cover that point so that you can move on. And pro tip here is speak in segments. You want to be able to edit out things that you find in editing are not that important. If everything is one big on long compound complex sentence, that's a run on sentence for forever. You have multiple inflections in your voice that make it be an open ended statement or a closed ended statement. Open ended statements sound as if there's something else that should come afterwards. A closed ended statement makes it sound like that's the end of it. So when I said that's the end of it, it the inflection was more of a down tonality in my voice which means it's more or less I could cut right there and we move on. Whereas if I say one day I was going to the store, that higher up inflection in my voice leads to as if there's something else to come in addition to the way I was telling that story or talking at that moment. And it's like, okay, well, what's next? Well, if I cut and just go to tip number three, it sounds awkward and it feels weird. Using bullet points and speaking in statements helps you to be able to cut in different parts or mix and match and put different areas together. And it's like, yeah, just actually take out that whole two minutes where we talked about X. We'll smush that together in editing and you're none the wiser when you're watching the video. Tip number three is something that you probably are unaware of, but this is how you're gonna be able to get stuff out and speaking it verbatim without people really understanding that you're going to read exactly what you need. Write out what needs to be verbatim and have it ready to read. Now, based on how we edited that first section, you didn't know that that was being read. Write out what needs to be verbatim and have it ready to read. Because I have my notebook just right with an eyeline site and I've been using recently the eye clip that's been super handy with just attaching to my tripod. It's plastic so it doesn't like eat into the metal when you twist it in just to hold my rocket book courtesy of Ecamm. So thank you for that one. And that way I can keep my notebook like right underneath the lens and just read exactly what I need. But because of the proximity I am to the microphone, it doesn't have to be a voiceover and you know that I needed to go to editing and record it. I can read it right then and there. So if there was anything that you needed to do verbatim, but let's say there was a script that you got for a partnership and they're like, yeah, we need this specific, uh, you know, kind of stuff in there for legal purposes. Then you can read that 
you're still in the same environment that your regular video is and b-roll is going to go over that part and so your viewers are none the wiser so what the format is that i've come up with to help me do these kind of segments a little bit better is i'll start by looking at the lens and i'm speaking just like i'm speaking to you now and then at some point i know specifically i need to go into the part where i'm going to read so I'll say tip number three is that you want to make sure that you are, and I'll have those filler words of you want to make sure that you are. So I have me on screen and then I'm going to cut to write out what needs to be verbatim and have it ready to read. So that way, by the time I'm done, I now know what my next bullet point is or where I want to go to in the tip. And you were none the wiser that the B roll was actually a cover up of me reading. So these are some of the ways I've been able to come up with for editing my videos better to make sure that they are more seamless, have good pacing, and just really is overall a good video so that you don't have to use a teleprompter. You aren't stressed feeling like you have to remember every little thing, but when it does come to those areas where you do need to read something verbatim, you know how to do that and you're good to do that and then you can move on to your next video. So let me know, did you learn something new? And if you want to know some of my favorite editing tips to help me to record better content, check out the video on the screen. I think you'll get a ton of value out of that.